Hey, Leo, how's it going? How are you guys doing? If this is your first time checking out Chula Divine's channel, I want to keep saying page. I don't know what's going on with me tonight. <laughs> what is up? I am Amy. If you're returning, oh, welcome back. Definitely a great message to say the least for you guys for June 16th to the 30th. Yes, I know I'm late. That's why I'm pushing them out before tomorrow because tomorrow is the 1st of July. Um, and I want to get a, a ball game. I want to get on the ball game of getting those other videos out for you guys. Um, so yeah, welcome. All right. So as usual, Oracle cards for you guys to start off your reading. We have do what you love, engage higher reason, love yourself and shine your light. All right. So always good to get messages like that. So, Leo, what is happening with you guys? Holy balonies. So, we've got, I pulled 10 cards, and literally, like, the first five, six cards came out. That's where I'm going to start. Um, very, I don't know, I feel like you guys are all over the place right now. Like, what is going on with you guys? Not, okay, so... Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords always comes up in reading when you feel like you have no power in something. When you feel like you have no control in a situation. So it's like you may be in this place where you feel like someone let you down. You could feel like you let yourself down. You are just at this point where you're like, you know what? I am just lost for words. I don't know how to feel. I don't know where to go. And it's like I'd rather stay on the bottom right now or stay on the ground and, and just lay here. And just not care. You know, it's like you've given up. Why are you giving up, Leo? I feel like at this very moment, at this very time, whenever you're watching this, you need to really get grounded with yourself. You need to really get focused with yourself. You really need to rest. Four swords, okay? You, you're going in this cycle, Okay, and it feels like a never-ending cycle, and it feels like you're always giving your time, your energy, your money, and it's like you're always the person that is there for everyone else when they need you, but it's like as soon as you need someone, Leo, poof, there's no one there, and it leaves you, that could be what's going on, it leaves you feeling really conflicted, leaves you feeling really down, leaves you feeling like you have no one. And I mean, that's really sad to think that that's how you guys could feel is that you're the first first people to go out there and help someone else. But when you hit hard, hard times, like who's there for you? So you need to really regroup right now. You need to really clear your mind because a lot of you are in overdrive. All right. A lot of you need to kind of just zone back in with yourselves. Find that energy within you. Put that energy back into you. Know if that means that you've got to hide in your house for a weekend, turn off your phones, turn off any social media, make it look like you literally disappeared, then do that. Because I feel like at the end of the day, that's going to really help you refocus on what's important in your life and where you're headed. Because you're in this place with the seven of swords that you feel like someone has taken advantage of you. Someone is stealing something from you, and it doesn't have to be money. Someone could be stealing your happiness. They could be stealing your joy. They could be stealing your smile. But this person's walking away. And they've got that grin on their face like, you know, I can walk through this door, and I know that you're going to give me what I need. It could even be a relationship where this person keeps coming back in your life for, you know, one night stand. And it's like no matter how many times you tell yourself no, you still bring them back in. So it's like a piece of you is disappearing every time. All right? I feel like you're in this place where it's like, you know what? Not only do you have to gain some self-respect, not only do you have to come within yourself and find a balance, you need to know that you have a worth. You need to know that you have a value, guys. You need to know that being taken advantage of You have to put your foot down and say, you know what? I, I deserve better than that. 
You know, and if you're not going to be 50 50 on the same page with me, then I don't need you in my life. Right. Because you're, you're seeing one side of something. You're not seeing the other side of something because you have a moon card. So there's something going on behind the scenes that you're not even seeing. Spirits working wonders over there. Making a plan. So even though it feels, even though you feel depressed, even though you feel lost, even though you feel alone, spirit saying this, I'm teaching you a life lesson right now. I'm showing you where to go. I, I'm bringing you through this because I want you to experience the pain. I want you to experience the hurt. I want you to experience what it's like to have your world shaken up. Because I want to bring you someone or I'm going to bring you through or bring you towards something that's going to be fulfilling. But I feel like you could be surrounding yourself with people who are lying to you. There could be some deceit as well with the moon card coming. But we also have the justice and the judgment card coming up here, guys. All right. Whatever you feel like, you know, you don't know. You need to put your energy elsewhere. That's what Justice is saying. Okay. If there's a situation in your life right now, Leo, that has you conflicted, that has you, you know, your mind could say one thing, but your heart says another. Regroup. Come back in with you. All right. You need to stay on the track that you guys have been on, on with, with judgment. Okay, and, and by that I mean you need to stay focused, you need to stay grounded, you need to have a plan. You know, people get what they deserve. So if someone's coming at you and, and they're narcissists, they're toxic, remember that when someone has a choice words about you, that's a reflection on them. But how you react to that is reflection on you and you need to remember that. All right? You have a life-changing decision that needs to be made for June. So you all have, let me know what that is. But there's a life decision, life-changing decision that has to be made. But it's time with the Eight of Pentacles. Put one foot in front of the other. Tell yourself, you know what, I don't know how I'm going to get to there. But I know that going that way has to be better than where I'm coming from. Okay? Going that way is going to bring me that emotional fulfillment that I want and staying over here where I'm surrounded by people who don't care, where I'm put in position where people are treating me like shit and they think that that's okay. That's the thing. The more you allow people to treat you that way, the more they're going to do it. And you have to be in this place where you say, you know what? Not anymore. I'm starting to learn my life lessons right now. I'm starting to put my best forward. I'm starting to realize that I have a lot to offer. And if you're not on board with that, someone else will be. All right. Nine of Pentacles. All the financial abundance. All right. I like this card because for me, it's like spirits handing you what you need. And you got to be willing to catch it. You got to find a balance. You can still work your business and still chase love. You can still chase love and work a business. It's all about putting your energy in the right places instead of the wrong places. You may, Leo, you may hit some financial problems for the month of June with the Five of Pentacles coming up. But I feel like what Spirit is saying is that there is help out there. Don't be afraid to ask for it. All right? Because, yeah, during this time, I feel like you guys are going to be feeling like you have no power. You're feeling like you have no say or feeling like you're just in this one cycle that you can't get out of financially. But you can because you have the choice to change, change the way you see this. And you will. You will find a balance. We have the two pentacles coming up as well. All right. But this is, this is, this two balance, two balance guys. This is choices. This is decisions. This is all right. So for months I've been putting all this energy into love and trying to make it work over here. And my business is failing or my job is not as at its best. Or you've been putting all of your energy into work and you don't even care about a relationship right now. So it's like one's up here and one's down here in spirit saying, let's, let's, Make it equal. 
All right? Let, let's find a common ground right now, Leo. All right? Because you guys can. Because you are worthy. Because you, you do deserve this. Even if it doesn't feel like you do. So your Oracle card says bat. See through illusion into truth. Choosing this card suggests you open your heart and pour love into caring for and nurturing those close to you. When you raise the frequency of your heart center, it enables your throat chakra to expand too. So focus on communicating with love and integrity. Then ask Archangel Michael to help you develop telepathy and other psychic abilities. Tune in to BATS to download your highest potential and perhaps even the spiritual technology of the future. Your guidance is also to look at the world with fresh eyes. Perceive everything with wisdom. Listen to your intuition to discover the reasons beyond the obvious. Expand your life and remember there is always new way to do things. Like how, how interesting is that? You know, look at the world with fresh eyes. You know, what you've always done is what you're always going to get. You can change the way this falls out or pans out. You can change the way in which things have been happening in your life. But I feel like find that balance first. If you have to cut people out, Leo, cut people out. If you have to walk away, walk away. If you have to regroup, refocus, recenter, write down notes, I don't care how you do it. Just don't kind of feel like what, just don't settle. I don't care if that's in your relationship. I don't care if that's in your job. You know what you bring to the table and you got to remember that. All right. So. I hope you guys have a fantastic June. As I said at the beginning of the video, I will have your July videos or your July um, first to the 16th video uploaded, hopefully by the end of the week. With that, sending you guys positive vibes, love and light, and I will see you guys again next time. Take care.